In this video, we will discuss how we can find lowest common ancestor or LCA of two nodes in a binary search tree. So I've already discussed how we can find LCA of a binary tree in my previous video. Here we'll focus on finding the LCA in a binary search tree. So LCA of two nodes N1 and N2 is the lowest node that has both N1 and N2 as descendants. Also, a node can be descendant of itself. Here we are taking the assumption that both the nodes are present in the tree. Now let's understand this with the help of an example. So let's pick the first case where N1 is 7 and N2 is 13. So 7 is descendant of node 7 and 15 because the node can be descendant of itself. And 13 is descendant of 13, 12, 7 and 15. Basically all the nodes that are on the path from the root node to the node N2. So N2 will be descendant of all these nodes. If we check the common nodes here, common node is 7 and 15. As you have to pick the lowest node, so the descendant is 7. Now let's check the second case where N1 is 2 and N2 is 10. So 2 is descendant of 2, 7 and 15 and 10 is descendant of 10, 12, 7 and 15. So here the common nodes are 7 and 15. And out of 7 and 15, the lowest node is 7. So the LCA of 2 and 10 is node 7. Now let's check the third case where node N1 is 20 and node N2 is 17. So 20 is descendant of 20 and 15 and 17 is descendant of 17, 20 and 15. So out of these the common nodes are 20 and 15. And out of these 20 is the lowest node. So the LCA is node 20. Now let's check one another case where node N1 is 10 and N2 is 17. So node 10 is descendant of 10, 12, 7 and 15. 17 is descendant of 17, 20 and 15. So out of these the common node is 15. So the LCA of node 10 and 17 becomes node 15. Now given any two nodes in a binary search tree, we have to find the LCA. So this can be done both recursively and iteratively. Let's first see the recursive method. So as we know that for a BST, the property is that nodes in the left subtree are less than the root and nodes in the right subtree are greater than the root. And this property holds for each node of the tree. So the algorithm to find the LCA can be broken down into parts. Let's say this is our node. This is the left subtree and this is the right subtree. If the node N1 is greater than N and the node N2 is also greater than N. So that means both of these nodes will be in the right subtree. So the LCA will also belong to the right subtree. The second condition is if both of these nodes are less than the root of the tree. So that means both of these will belong to the left subtree. So the LCA will also belong to the left subtree. And the third condition is if N1 is equal to N or N2 is equal to N. So when either of these is equal to N, that means the LCA will be N because that will be the lowest descendant node of both the nodes. Now there can be one more condition. So in this condition N1 is greater than N and N2 is less than N. So this means one belongs to the left subtree and another belongs to the right subtree. When this is the case, the LCA will be the node N because the lowest common node will be node N. So the algorithm is based on these four conditions. Now let's have a look at the pseudocode. So we have this function LCA which takes a parameter of type tree node and also returns a tree node pointer. So the first call to this function will be for the root node. We first check if the node is null. This is the base condition. Then we check if both the nodes N1 and N2 are greater than the node. So that means LCA will belong to the right subtree. This is the condition 1. If both N1 and N2 are less than the node, then the LCA will belong to the left subtree. So this is the condition number 2. And in the third and the fourth scenario that we discussed, the LCA was the root node. So here we are returning node. 
So this is basically the concatenation of all the four cases that we discussed. Let's take an example and understand how this algorithm works. Let's check the first case where node n1 is 7 and node n2 is 13. So the first call to this function is for the root node. So node is now 15. We check if the node is null. Then we check if node value which is 15 is less than 7. So this is false. We come to the next if. Here we check if 15 is greater than 7 and 15 is greater than 13. So this is true. So that means LC would be on the left. So we call this function LCA for the left of 15, which is node 7. So now the LC function call is done for the node 7. We check if node is null. This is false. We check if the node val is less than 7. So this is also false. We check if the node val is greater than 7. So this is false because both are equal. And then we return the node. So we return 7. So this function ends. The control goes back to 15. And there also we return node 7. So LC of node 7 and 13 is 7. Now let's check the second example where node n1 is 2 and n2 is 10. The first call is for node 15, the root node. We check if it is null. Then we compare 15 with 2. So this is false. In the second if 15 is greater than 2 and 15 is greater than 10. So both of these conditions are true. So the LCA would be on the left of 15, which is 7. So now we call this function LCA for node 7. We check if it is null. Then we check if 7 is less than 2. So this is false. And then we check in the second if. We check if 7 is greater than 2. So this is true. And the second condition in the if statement is 7 is greater than 10. So this if condition is also false. So now we return the node, which is 7. So the LCA 7 function call ends. The control goes back to 15. And from LCA 15, we return the node 7. So the LC of node 2 and 10 is node 7. Now let's check the third case where n1 is 10 and n2 is 17. So the first call to this function is for the node 15, which is the root node. We check if node is null. Then we check if 15 is less than 10. So this is false. We check if 15 is greater than 10 and 15 is greater than 17. So the second condition in this statement is false. So we return the node which is 15. So the LC of node 10 and 17 is node 15. Now we saw the recursive method of finding the LCA. This can also be done by the iterative method. Let's have a look at the iterative method of finding the LCA. So in the iterative method, we keep a variable node which points to the root node which is 15. Then we have this while loop which we iterate till node becomes equal to null. Let's pick the first condition where n1 is 7 and n2 is 13. We come in this while loop and we check the node value 15 if it is less than 7. So this is false. We come in the else condition and here we check if 15 is greater than 7. This is true and if 15 is greater than 13. So this is also true. So we set node to the left of 15 which is node 7. So now the value of node is 7. In the next iteration, we compare 7 with n1. So this is false. We come in the else statement. We check if 7 is greater than 7. So this is false. We come in the else part and now we break out of this while loop and we return the node. So node is pointing to 7. So LC of node 7 and 13 is 7. So this is similar to the recursive method that we saw. Just that instead of recursion, we are using a while loop. Let's check one more example where node n1 is 10 and node n2 is 17. So node is pointing to 15. We come in the while loop. We check if 15 is less than 10. So this is false. We come in the else. We check if 15 is greater than 10. This is true. And 15 is greater than 17. So this is false. So this means one node lies in the left subtree and the other node lies in the right subtree. So we come to the else part and we break out of this while loop 
and we return the node which is pointing to 15. So LC of 10 and 17 is node 15. If we look at the time complexity of both these methods, the time complexity is order of h, where h is the height of the tree. Now once you've understood these methods, let's have a look at the implementation. All the source code that I'll be showing is available in my GitHub repository. Link of that is available here and as well as in the description. Now let's have a look at the source code. So in the main function, I've created this tree. The root node is 15. The left of 15 is 7. So in this manner, I've initialized all the nodes of the tree and created a BST. Then I call this function LCA in which I pass the root node and the node N1 and N2. In this function LCA, I check if the node is null, then I return. If both N1 and N2 are less than the node, I go to the left subtree. If both are greater, I go to the right subtree. Otherwise, I return the node. Now in the main function, I print the value of the node and then I call the iterative method. In the iterative method, I simply run a while loop till node is not equal to null. I check if both the nodes are less than the node. So I go to the left subtree. If both the nodes N1 and N2 are greater, I go to the right subtree. In the else, I break. Now let's see the output of this program. So I've used both the methods, the recursive as well as the iterative method. So both will give the same result. So LC of 7 and 13 is 7. LC of 2 and 10 is 7. 20 and 17 is 20. And 10 and 17 is 15. So that was all for this video. If you have any doubts or suggestions, please leave in the comment section below. If you like my content, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to make more such content. And until next time, this is Sandeep Thapar signing off.